going to do a water test for the well today. And this uh, kit was recommended by a friend of mine who detected coliform in his well after he moved in and got sick. Made in the USA. H2OK+. H2OK+. And you can see that it, it tests for a lot of different things here. So we're going to do that while we're out here. Alright, so we've opened up our H2O OK Plus test here. That test was, or the kit, I guess, it, it, I think it was $28 at Home Depot. I did not find the one I needed at Lowe's. I found the one at Lowe's that has um, about half these tests on it. I need to take that, that back to the store, but... Let's see what we got here. We've got uh, some instructions for the bacteria and this vial has a tablet in it uh, to test that. Got another testing tube here, a bag. I've got to read the instructions. I've got a lead and pesticide test inside of it here. I've got two copper tests, uh, two iron tests and two of these just say six tests must uh, check for the rest of what we need to check for <clears throat> in the instructions here we've got several dis different sections here's our six tests here our copper our iron lead pesticide hydrogen sulfide Uh, total coliform bacteria and iron bacteria test. So we've got some water from the well and we're going to give it a shot. Now the well's not connected to the house. Um, we're going to test this anyway. Okay, on the back of our Coliform instructions here. It's got the uh, the other instructions for copper, iron, nitrates, the pH, the alkalinity, chlorine, and hardness. So let's jump into the first test here. I heard a little thunder before it starts raining on me, and I need to get that <laughs> other plant planted. But uh, let's go for it here. All right, so then fill up this plastic tube with our our well water. Here we go. I'm gonna set these up here. I guess these are test strips that we're gonna do. Let's do the first one. Not the old pH style strips I'm used to. And this one's got several different colors. I don't know if you can see them on there. Uh, they're kind of raised. We're going to dip this in here and it says read immediately. Two, two seconds as I spill the water. I think I went a little longer than two seconds. Hardness is says it's not maybe a little bit in the hundred range I'm not sure oh parts per million hardness I don't know if you can see that on the camera camera chlorine obviously it's not non-existent because it's our well alkalinity says it's in an okay range and parts per million I would like to uh, understand that a little bit more. I'll read up on that later, but it says it's about 120. Our pH is turning red really fast here. The original, it's kind of two different colors, which is annoying. I don't know, really know which one to, uh, oh, it'd be better if it was on camera. I don't really know which one to read here. It's got a green color and a red color. And the green color 
falls in the, the 8 range here, which says OK for the pH. I can get a pH tester later and look at that. This is important. Nitrates and nitrites, and we're down at 0 on that. So, you know, we just have a cow pasture behind us. There's no heavy farming in this area. It's mostly just cows. They don't spray much on the field. They might spray some herbicide. I'm not 100% sure what my neighbor sprays back there. But it looks like these are both zero, which is fantastic. Again, our weld is at, is at 200 feet. So if you can see that a little bit better, that's what we got so far. All right, one test down. Next, copper test. I guess we're going to fill this up a little bit more. Copper requires almost all the way to the top, apparently. go almost full set that down out of camera here grab this copper test swirl ten times remove pads face up do not shake off excess water all right wait 15 seconds and compare to color chart simple enough Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Remove it. Face up. Don't shake the water. It says wait 15 seconds and compare to the color chart. Discard strip after 30 seconds. And then discard your sample again. So it doesn't uh, contaminate. This test doesn't contaminate the next test. All right, we're, I've been talking for about 15 seconds. It looks like we're in the okay range. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's this pink color here, which is in this okay range. I can't tell which is closest to maybe the zero, not much copper, maybe the 0.3. Definitely not purple. Not sure the harmful effects of copper. All right, on the next test, let's discard our sample. So now we've got our iron test. All right, let's fill her up again. I've just got a bucket of water down here that I got from the well. All right, iron. We've got to immerse it for two seconds. One and two. Face up. Shake once to remove excess water. All right, that's what we did. Wait 60 seconds and compare to the color chart. All right, it's been about a minute. Let's see our iron test. I don't know if the camera will focus on that color there. But we are well beyond okay. This is pretty much zero. I'm not going to drink this water until I do the more serious tests here, which are the, the lead and pesticide and the bacteria. We got this one next. All right, open up the foil pouch. Let's do this. This is a serious test here. We've got a little dropper, silica gel, and we've got two strips here. Two droppers full of water in here. All right. Guess I'll sit these down.
All right, that's all it calls for is those two droppers full of water. So it says swirl gently for several seconds. All right. It's like I'm making a cocktail. Arrow is pointing down. Please place both tests inside. Wait 10 minutes. Do not disturb. Oh my. All right. Here we go. No test for the uh, hydrogen sulfide, except smelling your water. I have smelled the water, and it does not smell like rotten eggs, so no hydrogen sulfide present. Next, one of the most important ones for me, coliform bacteria. This is pretty much what I bought this kit for. So we've got a water sampling bag here. So I can tear off the top. Pull tabs outward to open the bag. Fill bag with 100 milliliters of water. We have to dechlorinate the water first. And we know that there really isn't any chlorine in here, but that's the way the test is structured. All right, we've got our 100 milliliters of water. And it says, pull the wire ends closed. Just wants you to dissolve the tablet in the water. And we're gonna take our the other tube that was in the packet that's sealed with another type of tablet in it. Let's open it up. Fill 10 milliliters, which is right to the line printed on here. Alright, we got our 10 milliliters. I'm going to cap it back up. And we're going to sit this also in the vehicle uh, straight up and down. Incubate the tube upright and at room temperature for 48 hours. Store out of direct sunlight. And now, all right, that obviously isn't gonna happen on camera right now. So after that happens, we are going to compare it uh, to this chart here. We got a positive or a negative and uh, determine if I can drink that water straight out of the well or not. Hopefully I can without treatment. Someday when I do connect it to the house, I will treat it. But uh, as of right now, there's really no need to unless I need a drink out in the field. I'm going to just be uh, using it for irrigation for our garden. And we'll put some sort of uh, filtration system on it in the future. But I'll let you know how this goes. Thanks everyone. Hope you enjoyed our review of this test. It seems pretty comprehensive and um, easy to read, easy, the instructions are easy, and you seem to get instant results uh, from most of the, uh, the little tests here. You know, I've only had this uh, lead test going for five minutes. Let's see if it's done anything. So it looks like these lead tests well, the lead pesticide. It's a little hard to tell. Looks like it's negative on the first one, which is... Hmm. Which one is which? Oh, it's lead. Negative on lead. second one's a little harder to tell. And there's some blue lines there, but they, uh, they're they really light. There might be a little bit of pesticides in there. Well, as you can see, it's been 48 hours, and unfortunately, our well 
looks like it's testing positive for coliform bacteria. You see the gas bubbles rose to the top, the gel rose to the top, and that's exactly what the positive looks like. It looked like the negative for the first 24 hours, but then I guess the bacteria just started to develop, and they incubated, and boom. So we're going to have to treat our well with probably some chlorine, and we're also going to have to put a filtration system on it. So that will be a future upcoming video, how we fix our our well to filter the water so that we can drink it. It'll be fine for putting on our garden and using it to irrigate our garden. But unfortunately I can't, uh, if I'm hot out, you know, working outside and it's hot, I can't take a sip out of that hose. Oh well. Thanks for watching everyone. You never know what surprises are lurking out there on your homestead waiting for you. Like coliform bacteria in your well. You always want to check the water in your well. Periodically, just to see if something leaked in there and just to be safe. If you liked our video, give us a like and the thumbs up. Uh, we appreciate it. Please subscribe to our channel and check out the video on the right hand side of the screen to see how we make a dust collection system for very little money. Saves your shop vac, saves the filter, saves the motor. It's awesome. Check it out. Have a great day.